now live animal. The snake way that is it's called a Kenyan sand boa and it lives inside the soils. The, the snake does not live on the surface but inside it gives birth to live babies and it does not have poison. Oh. So, so no not eggs. every no eggs, no poison, not every snake. Okay, in Kenya we also have so many snakes. One hundred and forty of them but have poison, the rest of the snakes they do not have poison. And then here we have this snake here. It's called an egg eater. It feeds only on eggs mm -hmm. and they do not use their mouth for feeding, they use their throat. On the throat they have bones, they break the egg, take the yolk and out the shell. It is the snake without teeth, no venom. It is the one they can use as a pet. Even if it gets lost in the house, nothing will happen. Okay. You see the container, it's called a brown house snake. Brown house snake is found in our houses. In our farm, this is the snake we kill daily. Assuming we are killing a big snake in the name of Black Mamba, mm -hmm. it is the brown so house snake. Not the... It is the one that comes in our house to steal mice, rats, lizard. So it is behaving like a cat. No venom found in our house. So in art, it is the most killed because it's found where people believe snakes should be killed. Snake is a snake. Okay, it's not the one. Do you, do you want to say we should keep them? Actually, snakes are important, you won't believe me, mm -hmm. but uh, without snakes, you may miss food to eat because they are, they are also helping in the chain of food. Yeah, to check inside here. Mm -hmm. But here we have this one here, the snake. And the other one here is another one. The two of them, they are sand snake, this is a yellow belly sand snake, and this is a speckled sand snake, the two. The small one. They are, don't climb walls. Huh? They cannot climb up here. So the two, this one is uh, more venomous compared to this, but they are all my venomous. These ones, their poison will not kill us, but that one, let's say you have your own issues, immune problem or whatever, mm -hmm. that can happen, but you're not supposed to die from the two because it's a my venomous. It does not even have a specific venom. Mm -hmm. That look like the environment. Like the leaves, this is like they just arrived from the stick. This looks like a stick. So, chameleon, they are animals who are the most wealthy of them all. How their eyes, when they look in front, they can see behind the same time. Their eyes have ability to zoom an object when they see a small thing, they can see it big as a bird. And then, chameleon, um, they can see as far as 10 meters away. That's why, in your hand, you want it to change color, it cannot change because 10 meters around is not safe. Their tongue is long, very fast, and it has glue on top of the tip because they feed on something like a housefly who jumps the whole day so they cannot stay hungry. God gave them the glue on top. Everything you see on an animal and on, on a plant is because they need it. If you don't need it, you won't be born with it. And then the biggest factor is they change color to come up with, to hide, to blend in with the nature, to hide from the enemy. Who is the snake? So snakes, they were not given the ability to see properly. Camilo not given ability to blend in with the environment, so you can see nature is fair. Whoever stays hungry, whoever is eating is a corn. Now here we have this one. Now I'll teach you to identify the venomous snakes. The snake, the head shape is triangle, the stomach is fat, tail short, body rough, they look short and stubby. Kiswahili call them kijana futi no matare. This snake is venomous. Every snake in this world with those features, not just triangular head, don't look at the triangular head. You look the whole body. Triangular head, two, fat stomach, short tail, rough body, they look short and stubby. That's a viper. All viper are venomous. So this one is one of the viper, dangerous. It mm -hmm. is the one with the longest fangs. When they bite you, it is not here, it is deeper in your skin. Mm -hmm. And their pupil is rod shaped. A human pupil is circle. Oh. They are active during the day. The pupil. Mm -hmm. Now, cat eye is the pupil is rod shaped. They are active at night. So, these ones, too, you look at the eyes, you can see they are active at night. You can use the eyes of an animal and know when day or night they are going to be active. This is one of the viper. Here is another snack. Short tail, rough stomach. I mean, short tail, a bit fat stomach. The head is triangle. The body is rough. They also look short and stubby. This is a Mount Kenya bush viper. Same as that one, but different. Animal, I think last year or last year, but one, there were less than 10 of them. That means they're getting extinct. The main factor an animal can get extinct on earth is destruction of the habitat. We don't have diagnosis because their land had earthquake. We do not have uh, 
if we ban the world, no genius, no full reserve, destruction of habitats makes animals to get extinct. So people in Mount Kenya. Hmm. Yeah, we're supposed to have a, mo a monitor lizard in English. We're going to monitor lizard in Kiswahili for Kenya. <laughs> I can't see it, but when somebody calls you for Kenya, they don't mean you're angry. They actually feel like maybe you are lazy, maybe you are a, a gambler. Puzzle, eh? Again, now you can see that these things are making sense. This is a puffada, the puffada. snake that will puff for you. When they see you coming, they'll not run away because they are keeping way for you to come. They believe they come up with the environment, they believe they look like the nature, they are venomous, so their high esteem is very high, self-high esteem is high. They'll never pave way for you. It's you to identify them. And it's like uh, it is you to know when the king is coming and you keep off the road. So that is what they mean. So this animal being a viper again, triangular head, fat stomach, short tail, rough body, kidano fukino no atari, short of stubby. All of them are going to be active at night, all vipers. Or oh, most of them they are going to lay egg to give birth to baby, except maybe so skilled carpet viper, they can lay eggs, but the rest are going to give birth to live children. The first one, the fat one, the gab one is can, can give like 30 children, but this one can give to 70 children at a go. Once, 70 kids coming out. And remember, the children are going to be more venomous than the parents because the children are like, oh, I've seen you, you want to attack me, I have to protect myself. The parent is like, I need this poison to keep some for tomorrow. What if I'm not satisfied with the food or whatever? So I need something to hunt. They calculate or not to use the poison. But the kid, they use everything. Now, their first aid, all of them, you see, they're venomous. Their poison is called cytotoxin. For cells, cytosols. Mm -hmm. Their poison just kills the cells. Their poison behave like fire. When you burn yourself here, your whole body will not die. This part will die. You will swell, feel a lot of pain, blood and not will come out, cells will die and rot. That's what happened when they bite you. Mm -hmm. When they bite you, most viper, minimum time they're going to give you six hours. That is breakfast to lunch. Maximum hours, maybe one day, two day. One day, two day, even one week, sometimes a month, you're going to see something very strange happening in your body. Now, but you're going some, you don't even, nothing may happen to you. Maybe the poison is so weak, you're still going to be very fine now. When they bite you, their first aid, do not tie. Hmm. People know that uh, when a snake bites you, you're supposed to tie. Yeah. These ones do not tie. Why? Their poison acts on a central place. It is not systemic, the whole body. Hmm. So when you when you tie, the whole poison will remain there. The work of the poison to kill cells, they die, they rot. When you reach the, to the doctor, they'll have to amputate you. So poison of snake is too, it's either you die or you get amputation because the part of the body, so it's either the whole body dies or a part of the body dies. This one part of the body dies, you're going to be very merciless for a kid, she had a bite, he had a bite and you tie, that means the whole hand will be chopped. Mm. Or they're going to be healed and then in future maybe the bones can start to grow deformed. Hey, it's because of the power of the poison, it can now affect the cells there. It can affect the cells and sometimes it can go more to affect your bones, which I don't understand in the part of the bones because it's supposed to be affecting. Others they can live for 100, 150 years. Now this animal, in the land they can live for 100 years. In our compound, three months the animal is dead. Why? This animal in their skin, in our skin we have something called nerve ending. Is the reason? Is this person filming my face? To make it blur? Remove my face, right? When, I, when in your skin you have something called um, nerve ending. It's the reason when somebody touches you, you respond. Yeah. The shell of a tortoise also has nerve ending. Right now we find the one which is sleeping like that one, facing the other end, and you touch them. You'll see them putting the hand and the shell inside the shell. I saw somebody was washing a, a tortoise with a toothbrush on the shell at the back, and then the tortoise was giggling mm. because they feel them sensation they feel tickling so that means this shell is not a hard stone it has feelings it can feel pain from today you do not hit them kick them lifting dropping mm. them washing them with a brush they will feel pain all over fail to eat get weak and die this i compare it with your stomach yes your stomach is there are those insects that you see them on your bulb when it is very rainy mm. and when it's not raining you don't see those insects on your bulb anymore 
Hmm. That explanation bring it here. This animal, African rock python, it only comes out when there is rain and when it's dry, it's going to stay in one place, especially for several months. Too. Okay. Now it's the reason why most people in the world believe this is a god of rain. You see them, you see rain, you see a bumper harvest, a happy community, healthy community, god of rain. Most of them they'll give it goats, cows, um, rice, milk. Um, Hen. Now this one it only feeds on mammals. Mammals is human being, me, you, cow, goat, yeah, deer. But the rest now they cannot eat. So I don't know where those hen used to go then. This animal, they're the one they call it Omiri, the god of rain for the little people. Mm, this animal did not have poison. Yet they are present for anaconda. Anaconda has poison and it's not. They can grow, others can grow 6.8, others can grow 9.8 meters, but then the one which was caught in the middle is 12 meters long. That's how long their eyes are very powerful they can see things a human eye cannot see they can see your temperature they can see you at night as clear as if it's daytime they can see they can see the radiation they can see the they can see um, colors just that computer can only detect they have that ability and the ability of seeing you at night as clear as if it's daytime and they can use their eyes to even know that you are a, a, but Cobras are of two species. One of the species can spit poison and the rest cannot. This is a spitting cobra, red spitting cobra. On the glass, they have spit on the glass. Those things you see, that is the spit. So this is the smallest aggressive cobra and very accurate when they spit. They spit in your eyes. All spitting cobras, they spit in your eyes. They, spit. they will spit here, not here. Just here so you can go down. It is also the only snake that bites people even when people are asleep at night. So this is Snake is somehow responding or ever, but it has not been very aggressive, it's still morning. It's supposed to create a hood and such. But when I calm down and do nothing at all, it's going to just like get down and just do its own thing. Now, in every movie, you always see a snake doing this. When they start this when they're talking to you, they're telling you I'm ready to fight. Snake is here and I'm here. So it's an Egyptian cobra. You have it along like Victoria on the beaches. I saw one. Eastern forest cobra. You have the snake and the this is a cobra that they go to point seven meters long. They can make their two meters in the air they go to the air. When the ambush they not jump on your neck, they'll jump on your leg. How do you feed them? There's a door there and then there's a snake handler. You just open put in food and then they, they have to chase the animal. If it's alive they have to chase it. Then put in the poison on the animal, the animal dies and then they come and eat it. Okay. If you put in a dead one, they will do this on the animal. The animal does not move, they just stay away from it. They do not want to eat a dead animal. We say they are wise. We don't know what killed their it's bathing. Well, the one in the water wants to shoot. Now, big body, bigger head, bigger container that holds poison. Brown spitting cobra, we have them in the coastal parts of Kenya. They are there to spit poison in your eyes so you can go blind because they really don't want to bite. When you cross the road, it's very big. You just put your breath a lot to pass, and then now you don't go along the other road, you see a big snake like this crossing, and then you just step on their tail. Very big body like this. They're able to climb you know, so why the, the plane of even like, what are they going to do with it? And just, you know, this is the snake that's so to chasing the snake and can't get in and fighting the people because they so hot. And they see their wives, they know what they're doing. The Bible says, Be as wise as a serpent, don't be as cunning as them. This animal, the head is a bit longer, shape of coffin, and the mouth is all smiley. So that means when they open the mouth, it's not this way, it is this way. They chew in your skin, in length, in width, it's a reasonable width. This plant here is called coconut tree. It's found in the coastal parts of the world. Green, black in body. Daytime, they're in the water, in the rivers and lakes, looking for 
fish to feed, nights they are on the bushes to sleep. Their shell is just like a vest. It's not like that of a tortoise. The tortoise shell is like a cover, a tent. When they are, anything happens, they can retrieve everything in the shell. But these ones, when anything happens, the head is going to stick outside. So they have to tilt the head like that one there. That's how they sleep. Just tilting the head to an angle because it cannot get inside. It's just like a vest. You cannot put your cover your head in you know? This is a Nile Food, every fruit. So if you have it in a compound, Habibos. if you have a tortoise in your compound, hmm. most people have so many meats relating to this animal, and they have no meat which tells them that this animal have a right to exist. They're just like human. Some are uh, thugs, and some are pastors, and then some are just some people existing here and there. Every animal that you see on Earth has its own reason to exist, and they have their own. Black mamba, mamba. smiling mouth, coffee shifted. See the beginning of the mouth. Can you see the color standing black and going inside? Mm. Now, when they open the mouth, inside the mouth is very black. Outside is not black. If it's stretched, it's more than two meters plus. And the adults can grow three meters, four, four point one, the longest. Now, black mamba, most venomous because of three factors. When they bit on, these ones you do not feel pain. Most people die because they think maybe a wood just scratch on. Less than 30 minutes. 20 minutes can be gone because your blood is strong. Active, it is moving faster in your system. That's what I'm telling you. You get a bite. Calm down. You've never had somebody who's bitten by snake and fall down just minutes. It takes time. Why? The poison is to move from this part, which is not that big. Your vital organs, brain, heart, kidney. When they die, they die. So those people will die. Cytotoxin. That's why when they spit in your eyes, you feel pain. But if it was only neurotoxin and they spit in your eyes, you're not supposed to feel pain because the nerves are supposed to die. You feel numb. We have some fish. Go see fish. No, only eating. Eating. <laughs> it's okay. We eat fish. Oh, we have fish then. The, the... Oh, that's